This is breaking news. Kentucky sheriff who allegedly killed judge faced allegations of ignoring deputies' abuse of woman in his chambers. The sheriff who allegedly shot and killed a rural Kentucky judge in his courthouse chambers was accused in a federal lawsuit of failing to investigate allegations that one of his deputies repeatedly sexually abused a woman in the same judge's chambers. Letcher County Sheriff Sean M. Steins has been charged with murder in the first degree in Thursday's shooting. The preliminary investigation indicates that Steins, 43, shot District Judge Kevin Mullins multiple times following an argument inside the courthouse, according to Kentucky State Police. Mullins, 54, who held the judgeship for 15 years, died at the scene, and Steins surrendered without incident. Just what the two men were arguing about wasn't immediately made clear. We know that it was an argument between the two that led up, but what exactly transpired prior to the shots being fired? That's still things that we're trying to get answers to. Kentucky State Police Trooper Matt Gayhart told reporters Thursday night. Gayhart called the shooting an isolated incident. Steins was deposed on Monday in a lawsuit filed by two women one of whom alleged that a deputy forced her to have sex inside Munnan's chambers for six months in exchange for staying out of jail. The lawsuit accuses the sheriff of deliberate indifference in failing to adequately train and supervise the deputy. The now former deputy sheriff, Ben Fields, pleaded guilty to raping the female prisoner while she was on home incarceration. Fields was sentenced this year to six months in jail and then six and a half years on probation for rape, sodomy, perjury, and tampering with a prisoner monitoring device, the Mountain Eagle reported. Three charges related to a second woman were dismissed because she is now dead. Steins fired Fields, who was his successor as Mullins Bailiff, for conduct unbecoming. After the lawsuit was filed in 2022, the Courier-Journal reported at the time. The killing of the judge sent shockwaves through the tight-knit Appalachian town. Whitesburg is the county seat of government with about 1,700 residents located about 145 miles southeast of Lexington. Rather than hold the sheriff in the local jail, authorities booked Steins into the Leslie County Detention Center, two counties away, where he remained Friday morning. Lead County Prosecutor Matt Butler described an outpouring of sympathy as he recused himself and his office from the investigation, citing social and family ties to Mullins. We all know each other here. Anyone from Letcher County would tell you that Judge Mullins and I married sisters, and that we have children who are first cousins, but act like siblings, Butler said in a statement from his office. For that reason, among others, I have already taken steps to recuse myself and my entire office. Kentucky Attorney General Russell Coleman said his office will collaborate with a Commonwealth's attorney in the region as special prosecutors in the criminal case. Mullins was hit multiple times in the shooting, state police said. We will fully investigate and pursue justice, Coleman said on social media. Kentucky Supreme Court Chief Justice Lawrence B. Van Meter said he was shocked by this act of violence and that the court system was shaken by this news. Letcher County's judge executive closed the county courthouse on Friday. It was unclear whether Steins had an attorney. State police referred inquires to a spokesperson who did not immediately respond by email. There is far too much violence in this world, and I pray there is a path to a better tomorrow. Gov Andy Bishier posted in response to the shooting. Mullen served as a district judge in Letcher County since he was appointed by former Gov Steve Bishier in 2009 and elected the following year.